Hey, what's going on world? Today me and Kane are down in the McCurry County section of the Daniel Boone National Forest. Right now we're at the Lick Creek Trailhead. We're going to be hiking the Lick Creek Trail down to Lick Creek Falls, Jewel Falls, and then we'll probably check out a couple of new to me falls. So let's go out here, hit the trail, go see what the flow looks like. And right here is where the Lick Creek Trail begins. Going out this old road bed behind the gate here. Trailhead parking just right across the road there. So let's head out behind this gate, hit the trail, go check out these falls today. Yeah, I just realized I named off the waterfalls we're going to visit today in reverse order. First, we're going to start off with some new to me falls off of Turkey Branch. So, when we go down here and hit Lick Creek, we're going to cross the creek, head off trail, go up Turkey Branch, check out the falls up through there. I've been waiting for the right conditions to come out here to check them out. We've gotten some pretty decent rain here lately, so hopefully they'll have some flow on them. We'll check them out. Then we'll head back to Lick Creek Trail, hike up, then we'll head off trail just a little bit to Jewel Falls, and then we'll continue on up to Lick Creek Falls. Yeah, right here we're coming up on the first set of steps dropping down into the Lick Creek Valley. Nice little iron steps here. There's one more set of steps as we drop down into the valley, so let's keep hiking out here. And right here, we're coming up on that second set of stairs. And from here, we're about to come up on my favorite section of the trail leading down here. Yeah, right here is a pretty cool false arch. Just off the Lit Creek Trail right here. There's two separate rocks right here. There's a little bit of gap right there. But you can kind of see it better through here. Pretty cool though. Two separate rocks. I always like false arches just about as much as a real arch. Still pretty cool.
Yeah, so right here we're coming up on the point where we're going to head off trail. Right over here, we're going to try to find a spot. Stay fairly dry across Lick Creek. Then we're going to head out that watershed right there, Turkey Branch, and go check out some new to me waterfalls. Time to get the feet wet. Whew. Not too bad. Boots stayed pretty dry. So now, let's head off trail. Go check out Turkey Branch Falls. All right, so check this out. That's a new to me waterfall that I knew nothing about in this area. Just a little side tributary falls here, going out Turkey Branch. Pretty cool though. I'll have to check the database again when I get home. This one might be undocumented, so we might be able to get to name this one. Yeah, there are no visible tracks anywhere around this waterfall back here, so this really might be an undocumented falls. Pretty nice find if it is. Turkey Branch Falls. Really nice cascading waterfall right here. I really like that right there. Beautiful falls. Great flow on the falls. As always, we picked a great day to come out here and check out the new to me falls. Waited for the right conditions. They paid off. We're gonna hang out here just a minute, get some pictures and videos, and then head on up the stream.
Yeah, so now we're at the top of Turkey Branch Falls. We crossed the stream right below the falls down there. Came up on the right side facing the falls. Made an easy little scramble up here. Beautiful falls out here. Perfect day to come check it out. Great flow on the falls. But from here, we're gonna continue on up Turkey Branch. There's another falls up here I wanna cross off the list, so let's go check it out. Yeah, so instead of fighting through the thick roto along the branch here, we're gonna make the quick fight uphill, up to the cliffside, follow it out to uppermost Turkey Branch Falls. Yeah, now here we are at Uppermost Turkey Branch Falls. This is our third new to me waterfall of the day. Again, it's got great flow on it. Really glad I waited to come out here until a day like today to check out these falls. Beautiful flow on it. Got some nice iron deposits back here in the cliff side wall. Get that kind of orange and black striping in the sandstone back there. Pretty cool. Always like finding that. Me and Kane are going to find a spot here at the falls to relax for a minute. Yeah, we just had a great visit out at Uppermost Turkey Branch Falls. 
beautiful waterfall glad we waited till a day like today with the right conditions to come out here and check it out catch it at full flow beautiful falls but on our hike back out from the falls we're taking the opposite side of the cliff side we came in on the right side of the falls now we're hiking back out on the left just checking the cliff side for any like smaller windows or possible arches out here found some nice rock shelters so it's always cool to explore the cliff line when you can so we're gonna keep hiking along the cliff side here back down to lick creek yeah check this out look at these little small fern type things i don't know the actual name for them if i figure it out i'll post it in the video right back here in this big rock shelter like i said you never know what you might find exploring the cliff line Yeah, like I was saying, you never know what you might find out here walking the cliff lines. Stumbled upon what I believe is a false arch right here. Looks like there's separation going all the way up between the rocks there. But still pretty cool. Nice find. Pretty big opening right there. We'll mark the location here. Check the database when I get home. This could be another new discovery. So we'll just have to check and see. Either way, it's still pretty cool. It's always nice to stumble upon something that you don't know about. So, pretty cool. But from here, we're going to keep following the cliff line out back down to Lick Creek and go chase some more waterfalls. Right here is another great example of something you might find wandering the cliff line. Another new to me waterfall. This is another falls I knew nothing about out here. This falls is just above that first new to me falls that we found out here. Same watershed, same stream. Really nice falls right here. Hits that boulder down below it. Really nice. This is another possible undocumented waterfall, so we mark the GPS for it. Check the database when we get home. See if we found another one today. Check out how small this little salamander is. Don't do it, little buddy. 
Don't jump. We'll set you back down here. Let you continue on your way. Here's a pretty decent sized pile of scat right here. Looks to maybe be from a bear. There are bears in the area out here. We'll just keep an extra eye and ear out for them out here as we walk the cliff line back down to the creek. Yeah, we've hit the salamander jackpot out here today. I've seen several up here by this last new to me falls that we found. On the hike in, I kept saying to myself, I wanted to see some salamanders today, so I got what I wanted and then some. Yeah, so we've explored quite a bit of the cliffside up through here, but now's the point we need to drop back down to the creek. So we're going to head down the hill here, cross the creek, head on out Lick Creek Trail, check out a couple more waterfalls. And right here is where we crossed Lick Creek earlier. So, get the boots wet one more time, cross back across, get back on the trail, go check out a couple more waterfalls. Yeah, now we're coming up to a fork in the road. Lick Creek Trail 
continues on out that way down and off to the right there you can take that on out make it out to princess falls that way and then out to yamacraw bridge and shell Toe trace but for lick creek falls you want to take the trail up to the left this is the lick creek falls trail so let's head up here we're going to head off trail from here in just a minute down to jewel falls and then we'll make our way on out to lick creek falls yeah right here we're coming up on another fork in the road lick creek falls straight out that way but this is another spur coming up from lick creek trail coming up to the falls like i said if you continued on out lick creek it would take you to princess falls so if you come in from that way You'd hit this little spur coming up the hill first before you would that one that we came in on. But from here, this is where we're going to drop downhill. This is where I go to access Jewel Falls. So let's head down through here. Go check out the off trail Jewel Falls. Yeah, here we are at Jewel Falls. Pretty good flow on the falls here as well. All that rain we got recently has really paid off. I like this falls. You get that big boater right there, right in the middle of it. Pretty nice waterfall right here. But from here, we gotta head back up the hillside, back up to the Lick Creek Falls Trail, and out to Lick Creek Falls.
And now here we are at Lick Creek Falls. Really good flow on the falls today. I think my last video out here, the falls were almost dry, so big difference from then till now. Even got this little kind of side falls flowing. Big drop right there. Really nice flow out here today on the falls. Got a lot of mist and got some light rain trying to fall too. Got a lot of mist coming off the falls, but we've had a light mist kind of falling all day. But we got a thread of some rain showers moving in. We're gonna make our visit here pretty brief. We're gonna go up in the rock shelter, get away from all the mist and rain. Relax for a minute, let Kane get some food and water, get some more pictures and videos of the falls, and then bust the trail back out. Yeah, now we're hiking back out from Lick Creek Falls. Went ahead and threw the rain gear on for the hike out. Those rain showers are moving in on us. What was a light rain, a little mist, is starting to pick up a little bit. So, probably won't be too many videos on the hike out, but if there's something interesting, I'll pull the phone out, take a quick video. But from here, we're just gonna make our way back out to the Lick Creek Trailhead. Yeah, right here we're coming up on a junction in the Lick Creek Falls Trail. Trail going up to the right is the one we came in on. That's the one we'll be taking back out. Like I said earlier, going down this way will still take you down to Lick Creek Trail. This is the way you want to go if you came in from Princess Falls. You want to head back down that way. But like I said, we're going to take the one going up to the right. This is the more direct way back to the Lick Creek Trailhead. So... Let's hike out here, go back down the Lick Creek Trail, and back to the trailhead. And now we're coming back up on the Lick Creek Trail. Right here's where the trail split off to go up to the falls. Like I said, continuing on along the trail out that way, take you up to Princess Falls, Yamacraw Bridge. But to go back to the Lick Creek Trailhead, we're gonna keep going off to the right here, back out to the trailhead. Load up, head home.
Yeah, we're back up on the ridge top now. Thankfully, that rain slacked off quite a bit. It started coming down pretty good as we were leaving Lick Creek Falls. Poured down on us for a little bit, just enough to get us soaked. But thankfully, we got the rain gear, got a rain fly on the backpack. So hopefully, all the important stuff's dry. But it's been a great day out here. Great day chasing waterfalls. Saw four new to me waterfalls and a new to me false arch. I'll have to check the database when I get home. See if two of those waterfalls in that false arch are undocumented. As far as I know, I don't know of anything out here, but I don't know at all. So we'll check the database, check with some friends that know more than I do, see what they say. But it'd be pretty cool if we found something new out here today though. Still a great day, great flow on all the falls. Perfect day for chasing waterfalls. But from here we're headed back to the trailhead. Man, cane are wet, muddy, tired, hungry. So we're gonna load up, head home. But as always, thanks for tagging along with me and the cane boy. Till next time.